Welcome back, people of the world. It is Friday, July 10th, I think, 2020. I'm outside about ready to put some yellow dots on this pink rock, which used to be orange. Let's see how these are gonna look. Yeah, that's gonna be sweet. The, the This rock is for B, who lives around the corner here. She made me some um, cupcakes. I said that in another video. And I'm not going to get her a thank you card and send it. I'm painting her a rock. And I'll put a thank you note with it. And I was going to put red dots on it because they would have looked fantastic up against this pink. But her name is B. And so I'm going to do yellow dots just like that. And they're going to have black, uh, black spots in them just like bumblebees all over this rock it'll look good when it's done red yeah would have been better but I like this uh, so I have my day in pictures in one little video for you I um, it's uploaded a video to my channel this morning of a hawk and it was actually of the hawk he he or she oh, there's a squirrel running across the telephone wire right now right up here if I had like a thing on the camera to turn it, you'd be able to see it. Hello, squirrely squirrel. Um, so a hawk caught a little chickadee bird in the sky right here, and they, they were going nuts, and I just so happened to be outside, and I looked up, and as it swooped down and caught the little guy in his claws, he went across the street, and there's like a, it used to be like a, a market across the street, and has a big window. It swooped down full force MD right into the window. And here's a picture of the blood, which wasn't from the hawk. It was from his kill or her kill, whatever it was. Because the partner was up in the sky like going nuts because it stunned the hawk when it hit the window. It stunned the hawk. And it was like sitting there. It dropped the bird and then the, it, the wing is huge. These guys are big. The wing went and suck that little bird right back into its clutches. Not that the bird was gonna go anywhere. It was just like taken out of the sky and then thrown into a window, like hanging from the bottom of a, of a hawk for crying out loud. So that's that story. Um, I actually stopped in the zoo parking lot. I love having an electric bike because I can go anywhere. So I have flashcards for you and I'm gonna let those start right now. You're gonna have to figure out which each animal is. I think there's nine of them. So I don't know how long I'll leave them on the screen. I guess I'll leave them on the screen while I'm painting these yellow dots over here. And um, the hawk, it lived in, I mean, the hawk was fine. So if you're hearing that story that it was kind of gnarly, it was just intense. So those flashcards you're looking at are each parking space over at the zoo. And it's weird because it's like two, 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 I don't like how they have it numbered. It's almost as hard as finding your car in Horton Plaza. Do you know I have dreams where I cannot find my car in Horton Plaza? Recurring dreams. I don't even go to Horton Plaza. It, Horton Plaza isn't even open anymore, I don't think. It's like a ghost town there. But I still have dreams that I'm in one of those security club cars looking for my car. Isn't that awful? Okay, so those flashcards are probably done. What else do I have to tell you about today? Oh, I did a video over um, at the World Beat Center. Let's start that, and then I'll be right back. I have to actually pause to start the video, so I'll be right back. I'm outside the World Beat Center, which is a round building in Balboa Park. They used to store stolen bicycles in this building back when I was a kid. Let's do a quick little walk around. I've got my bike I'm dragging along with me. for me just dragging my bike like that is nuts world beat center naval hospitals across the way 
people are playing frisbee over here. Not too many people in the park today. So hopefully that wasn't too fast to hit the World Beat Center. So as I was leaning forward earlier to pause it before I started the video, I almost touched the yellow dots. I get paint on all my clothing. Um, the World Beat Center, sometimes they have drummers outside, and it's outdoors. I don't know if they've done it through COVID-19. I'll ride over more in the, now that I have an electric bike and it's summertime. But a lot of times they have a circle, like a drum circle, yeah, outside. And um, usually I'm walking, and um, there's people passing by, so let me just pause it again. I'm actually going to pause, not stop. Hold on. Oh, it's not paused. Hello there. Good, thank you. That's what I would have done anyways. I don't think I'm paused. No, I'm not. Looks like it's still running. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking, I, that's why I actually went over the World Beat Center was to see if they were would have been performing because that'd be a great video because they're really good. And there's like all kinds of drums and the Congo ones and they can go fast and all that stuff. So after I left the World Beat Center, I went, there's another cultural center and I took some selfies and um, this was a skeleton. And then these eyes, just the eyes were too cool. I couldn't miss that. So um, where did I go for, oh, I rode, you know, I kind of got turned around once I was over at the World Beat Center, it was weird. I didn't realize that the Air and Space Museum was the next, that hawk is still around. Um, I didn't know the World Beat Center was the next turn there, so I went down there and it was fun because the, the parking lot back there, you just like coast. Um, but the parking lot's been closed for construction. Here's a picture of that. And they're also over where the houses of like the House of India and the House of Scotland and stuff. They are, there's three or four new houses being put up behind the United States. Um, and I mean like brand new construction. I don't think they're redoing any. Hello there. Um, I went over from there, the Oregon Pavilion's right up the way. I mean, once I saw, saw where I was at the Air and Space Museum, um, I knew exactly where I was. So here's the Oregon Pavilion, and there's really nobody there. So if you want to go to Balboa Park, that whole area back in there, there was really nobody there. And there is a parking lot behind the Oregon Pavilion that is open. And then another bigger one across the street. So there is parking over there. Oh, shoot. Everything's starting to blow here. It's getting windy. Um, but at the, the on stage, there was this kid that was in, went on stage. And um, I did a close-up of him and then he went to get off and I'm like no go back and he actually went back I don't I had my music on so I don't know if his mom sent him back I think he was getting off the stage because he thought he, I, he was in the way of me taking a picture but I want to take a picture of him on stage because somebody was on stage the cat just appeared can you see her tail no. come here so hold on. say hi to the people she hates cars there say hi to the people good kitty she's out hunting in the canyon um, and uh, this last picture of the kid, um, I just, it was so funny because he was actually crawling around. It looked like he was performing cat for me. And that's my story for you. So I'm going to continue painting the yellow dots and then the black spots are going to be really cool when this is over. And the, the cat's hungry. Look at it. See? Look right there. So cool. Can you go over there and push the record button so it stops? Thank you. Happy Friday, everyone.